Welcome back. I want to talk to you about why you want to work with a realtor in Vero Beach who's using social media. Why should you care? Why is it important? What is the impact of that? So I broke this down into five parts or five reasons why it's important that you choose to hire a realtor who is active on social media to represent you in your purchase or sale of your Vera Beach home. Reason number one is increased advertising and exposure. All right, take agent A who doesn't use any social media or just dabbles in it and agent B who is actively engaging with thousands of people a month on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn. Agent A is going to be doing your traditional real estate marketing. Agent B is going to be leveraging a whole new set of platforms where they're going to reach new eyes and new ears. That's thousands more impressions on your property. That's also thousands more people who are engaging with that real estate agent. All right, reason number two, why it's important to work with a real estate agent that's active on social media, is that most of the time, if they are regularly active and engaged on their social media, they're gonna be tech savvy. They're gonna have to be utilizing platforms and different technology to be able to do that consistently. And a tech savvy realtor is going to be a benefit to you, whether on the buying side or on the selling side in this day and age. Everything's online. All of the information that you're gonna be needing to tap into or look up or research is all gonna be online. They're gonna be able to use different tools, different apps that make the experience of selling or buying way easier, much more of a speedy process, much more thorough. Again, their ability to, to do research and dig up information on homes that you're interested in and utilizing technology to do that is going to work in your favor tenfold. So for example, just last week, I was doing an open house for one of my clients and I had some people walk in. They were interested in the open house, but they were asking me if my seller had a floor plan on file. My seller did not have a floor plan on file, but guess what? Right then and there, I was able to pull up a floor plan app from my phone. I was able to walk the house, create a digital floor plan. I was able to collect their information and their email address, this potential buyer. Now I have all of their contact information and I was able to send them that floor plan and all of the other information that they were requesting from that open house. So I take a potential cold lead and turn it into a very warm lead for my selling client. I have somebody to follow up with and now my selling client also has a beautiful, um, nice floor plan that they can utilize for any future potential um, interest. Another example I can give you is um, for real estate agents who are resourceful and tech savvy, we're able to tap into all of the different public information sites to get you the most information on homes that you're looking for. So let's say I take um, my client out to go look at a house, they're interested in it, they wanna know um, information about if there's any expired permits or when the roof was put on, but let's say the agent who's, who's representing the house, which happens a lot, they don't know the age of the roof, they haven't gathered information on the AC, they didn't ask those questions from their homeowner, so they can't give me that information. Well, guess what, I'm tech savvy. I can go on, right online and pull up all of that public information through the de building department side, because I'm resourceful and I know how to use the internet to my advantage to do the appropriate level of research. So there's like, those are two small examples, but it's so multifaceted when you have a tech forward and a tech savvy realtor on your side who can utilize all of those resources for you. All right, the third advantage of using a realtor um, that is active on social media is more times than not, if they're consistently active on social media, they're sharing great information about the area that they work, the area that they know and love and serve. They're um, giving you information that you can research. They're giving information about schools, about uh, municipalities, about potential growth or projected growth of the area. They're educating you on the different 
neighborhoods and price points and what's going on with the local market. They're sharing information about local businesses. All of that stuff is going to be so helpful for you if you're considering moving into an area. That agent is taking the time to reach out to those businesses to do research about the area so that they can be knowledgeable and share it with you. That's going to be a completely different experience than your Joe Schmo who's just gonna open up a door for you, right? Night and day experience in purchasing house. All right, the fourth reason is a pretty cool one I think um, shouldn't be underrated is that agents who are putting themselves out there on social media, creating content, sharing information, they're putting themselves out there every week. They're doing what other people aren't willing to do because it makes them uncomfortable. They're getting uncomfortable. They're stepping into the light. They're putting themselves in a position to be asked questions and engaged with and potentially scrutinized too. They're doing the hard things that other people aren't willing to do. And that translates across the board, right? When you're buying or selling a house, you want an agent who can have hard conversations, who can do the hard work for you, who isn't afraid to ask um, difficult questions or advocate for you and negotiate, like take a strong negotiating position. That all spills into each other. All right, and your fifth and last reason why you wanna work with an agent that is using social media regularly is that they are more likely than not, they're comfortable communicating with and educating their clients about the process as it goes along, right? You obviously have to consider the type of content that they're putting out. If every week they're just posting, I'm so great, I just listed this, I just sold this, blah, 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 and they're not actually offering value, you need to scrutinize that, that's one thing. But if, you're, um, but if you've landed on a real estate agent that is educating, telling stories, giving good examples, sharing information that would be helpful for you in your buying or your selling process, that agent is putting themselves out there and taking the time to educate you and communicate with you about the process. And that is going to go a very long way. That's an agent who's not gonna mind picking up the phone and answering your questions as you go along, or being a very open and transparent communicator as you go through the process of buying and selling your home. Communication is absolutely key during these times. So that's, it's not a guarantee, but it's an indicator that that is probably what you're gonna get. So all of those things I think are really great reasons and really great things that you should look at when you're considering um, choosing a real estate agent to help you buy or sell. And especially in Vero Beach, Florida. So in Vero Beach, the, the agent count per how many homes are sold on an annual basis is way out of proportion. And some of that is because we have a lot of retirees here who hold an active real estate license and they might sell one or two houses a year or every couple years for their friends with just a handful of agents being like really dedicated full-time real estate agents. But there's just so many agents here that sometimes I think if you look online, um, there's just too many options and there's not a really great way to sort them. I find, and I'm partial obviously because I'm active on social media, but I find that here and in any other areas, agents who are doing the work of showing up, making the content, educating people, being great communicators, doing the research, those are people who are going to be good to have on your team as you go forward in your real estate pursuits. So I leave you with that. Um, if this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up so I can know that it was helpful for you. I, I care, I want to know. And if you have any questions for me, if you're looking for the services of a real estate agent to help you with your search here in the surrounding areas, uh, leave me a comment below and I will be happy to reach out to you and hop on a call with you and talk about the needs of you and your family. So thanks again and I'll see you next week.